guys. So I knew something was probably wrong. Amazing video work here. Lawrence and Wally have been busy. I just finished grazing her. We got the auger set up. Tractor. So we'll be able to auger the beans in. <sighs> and uh, we're going to run out of daylight. But I'll get rolling. Super fancy little, little table here. Isn't it, Bonnie? Yeah. That'll do. The only way to cut it off is when you cut the switch off. I hope this one... I get one on that two stack. But if you reach up under the fender right and left the hood there, don't you gotta leave it running. But uh, I think it's some. I mean, it's something I need. You don't know want to sit on the table? That's a nice little pallet table. You can sit on it. You can sit wherever you want. How's your hand? It's, little... it's better. It's a little better. You can like start to see some knuckles. Yay! <laughs> that was so ugly. So we're up. Here we go, babe. You excited? <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> yes, she, yes, he is. He's excited. <laughs> he said he thinks he can handle the the gears and everything because his hand's a little better. So, time will tell. Come on, Gertie. There she goes. Okay. I'm gonna get out of the way. Go to the field. Okay, I am heading. Oh, my truck's already started. Oh, no, I'm not. He's calling me to him. I gotta look at a canister and see where the oil is. Okay, I was supposed to look for oil in the tube. Transmission oil? I think, anyway, whatever it is, he told me where it was in the shop, and I'm going to get it. There we go. It's come up some. When I looked at it, it didn't have any in that little tube. just follow him to the field so we're just we've got one one guy Wally's helping so he's gonna drive the truck and uh, we got two trucks so so Wally will bring the load over here and unload it and then while he's gone the other truck will be there waiting for Lawrence to fill up and uh, yeah just keep going like that we it is 215 we're only gonna have what, less than three hours to go before the dew sets in and the sun goes down. Gertie sure is loud.
Kelly to get there with the first load and he never showed up and there's no service down here so I couldn't get Lawrence. So I knew something was probably wrong. So Austin and I came to the field and evidently the beans are, um, they're laying down really bad. They're getting, it's getting stopped up. Gertie's getting stopped up and she's evidently stopped up again. So we're driving over here to see if we can get it unstopped. And also when I got home, my truck started running hot. The engine coolant was running hot all the way on the red. So the good thing about having a bunch of old vehicles is that hopefully on any given day, at least one is working. So I just traded trucks. Out some sand. I mean, it's sand, dirt, sand. How close is he to having a full load? Not very good. Hey, two rounds and done. This is the second round. It's just the way it's laying and the dirt, the sand, and having to go low. He's going to be lucky to get a load before it gets dark. I mean, it's already, the sun's already going down in here. today because the sun's going down 
and as soon as the sun goes down the dew sets in and you can already feel it down here it feels 10 degrees cooler in the last 30 minutes so <sighs> didn't even get a full load picked combined harvested oh well hopefully tomorrow we'll go a little smoother here's hoping ain't closing up there where the police is going I can't move the third. Maybe a hole in the bin. Uh, this is just a fine seed. See, that's okay. come out that chute right there if it was coming out of here. The bin be a hole in the bin. It's right here somewhere. See right in here? Yeah, it's a hole in the bin somewhere. Mm -hmm. If you get over in the bin. <laughs> Feeling the hole. Uh, right, what's that mean? A little hole in the bin. Well, the light's gone, but it's there. Huh. Don't need to lose any. He said duct tape. Eleven point six. Oh, I was reading the bottom number. Eleven point six. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. It's a really good feeling. We saw two deer. Yeah, Lots well, of deer. All right, deer. Let's go shake up some supper. Oh! <laughs> you okay? <laughs> we don't need any more falling around here. Morning, ladies. Go get your hay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful morning, sun shining, cool. Another busy day. You sure are loud. Uh, <laughs> gonna get back at it here in a little while. Once the dew gets off, I reckon he'll get started around lunchtime or after. I gotta, um, I gotta change, switch hats today a little bit. I gotta do an online presentation for the American Farm Bureau Women's Leadership Committee super honored that they asked me so I do that and then I'll uh I'll go see what's going on in the field and uh yeah should be another good day here's hoping it doesn't get stopped up too bad <laughs> and everything just works
the truck will be back going. Well, it got here while he was unloading. Gave him a sandwich. Now he's back off. Said it's been going good. He's got uh, two more laps. And then he'll put another, he's got three bins in there. And that's going to hold about four. So then go unload that while he will. So it only got stopped up once so far today. So that's good. So, so very dusty. Oh. She wants to ride. <laughs> oh, you can get in there. Just put your feet on top of the thing. <laughs> or I can take it out. Here we go. Bing, bing, bing. All right, she really, she really wanted to ride in the dump truck, so. I'm gonna follow them back and make sure I've got everything lined up to be able to get to the auger. I think they put some things down on the ground, but anyway. The fun thing about this truck is that the radio actually works. We've got these boards here so he knows how far back to go. lot of flaws Woo! like the inability to hold a phone um, I also have I have a lot of flaws one flaw is that I do not take the time to visit the post office very often it's a problem and I need to fix it so we just we just I love me. <laughs> she loves it so and I do too I appreciate everything We've got a big haul of viewer mail here that we're gonna have to wait till we get home. I told her she could open one thing. We've got a couple big boxes in the back of the truck, several small boxes and letters and packages, and thank you. Thank y'all. You're so sweet and oh, kind it's a can opener. to send this stuff. A can opener. I yeah. bet it's an electric can opener. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and we've actually been needing this. We've actually been needing that. Thank you for the electric can opener. That will come in handy, whoever sent that. Can openers for Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Well, we have got a slew of good stuff. Thank you, thank you to Lisa in Ohio for this box of goodies. That really is very special. Homemade stuff. We've got wrenches. We've got bath salts homemade. Not, not We've just. got can openers. We've got uh, magnets. We've got books. And this beautiful drawing from our friend Keely, who came to visit us. Wasn't that nice? She did a good job. So good, Keely. Thank you. We loved having you and your mom visit. Her mom and I went to school together. Oh, love it. Love it so much. Y'all are amazing. We appreciate you. What do we tell them? Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully she's all fixed now. Some people have asked what we're feeding. So we're feeding straight barley. And some people have asked what the digestibility is or why we don't crack it or whatever. I don't know all those stats. All I know is that it's working, right? <laughs> it's working, it's really good feed. So we're gonna keep using it. The cows are doing really good on it. We're starting to get a little bit low. So we're gonna we're gonna grind some corn and start mixing it together soon but yeah we're we're liking the barley yeah that's that and our beans no we we don't feed the soybeans we're we're selling the soybeans and uh 
So we just, we feed barley we raise, we feed hay we raise, and we feed corn. This year, we only raised corn for silage. I mean, that wasn't the original plan, but that's the way it worked out because of replant. So, that's our, that's our system right now. The cows and the calves will get silage over winter and hay, of course. And uh, it works good for us. It's not working this morning, so he's hoping it's a fuse. He just went home to get one, and I gotta try to figure out where it is. He doesn't have his glasses. See if we can get that fixed. And we're off. He's off. I'm off to open the gate. There's a gate to get into the bottom of this farm. So, evidently that was it. Put in a new fuse. Seems to be working. Yay for easy fixes. It's not always easy. Man, it's a beautiful day, I'm gonna tell you that. It says 77, I don't think it's that warm, but it's definitely in the 70s, it's nice. Bonnie. Happy to be here. Um, whoa, forward. We need to go forward. Uh, uh forward drive. Okay, we're gonna check on them later. Gotta go to town, run some errands. We've got some family coming in that I haven't seen in 11 months. What? Yeah, super excited about that. There's a lot going on. is at least a month overdue and even though the grass or the weeds are dying I really just wanted to chop off the top so I feel better it's cleaned up except for the corner of the tarp from the pool that I caught and flung all over the yard other than that it's clean but the mower is not Man, this road is still muddy and it's been days since it rained. Oh gosh, whoops. Well, he's done cut. He's done cut a bit. I already got all that. While he said the truck's uh, almost full, it's probably not gonna get a full bin load in it. And then he'll go dump. <laughs> Give him a snack. That's a good friend.
out with me? What you oh, girls I, doing? I thought that was Wesley. Bonnie looked like Wesley. Bonnie, you look like Wesley? Yes. <laughs> what you girls doing? We're just riding around and going down to the creek. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know where the pipe is. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the horses are. Really. Okay. It's a pretty evening. <laughs> Well, it's going to be a busy, fun day around here. Lawrence and Wally are getting going with the beans, and he should definitely finish today. Yay. Um, all of my family is coming up. Dad, stepmom, brother, sister-in-law, niece, nephew, aunts, uncles, all the people that I have not seen in ages. And we are going to just hang outside, eat, very well, and uh, have a good time fellowshipping as family. And I am so, so excited to see them. Um, one of the things that I am making goes very well with anything, uh, especially like soup. So my sister-in-law is bringing soup. So I'm gonna be making little ham and cheese rolls. I think I have shown this on this channel before, but I honestly can't remember. So I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna actually put up a recipe. They're very easy, they're very good, they're always a crowd pleaser, they always end up being gone, gone, gone. If you do have them left over, pop them in the fridge and heat them up in the microwave, and they're just as good day two, day three, if they last that long. So, that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, the stars of this show are as shown. And I am doubling the recipe. So, when I list the recipe, I will list it for one recipe, which would be one package of, I like to use these Hawaiian sweet rolls. Um, my granny always used the Pepperidge Farm little Pepperidge Farm rolls, like finger rolls, small rolls, anyway. Any kind of small roll will work. And you would use one stick of butter, I'm using two, some poppy seeds, two tablespoons of minced onion per one recipe. And then just regular old cooked uh, deli ham. You can use whatever kind of ham you want. And I think my granny always used Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese but I bought provolone because that's what I felt like doing. Anyway, that's basically it. And we're gonna melt this, oh, mustard. It also includes mustard. Forgot to get that out, but I will put it in there. And you're gonna melt the mustard and the butter and the onions and the poppy seed. And then, then we're gonna just layer it all together and bake. And that's it. All right, get the butter melting. Okay, I added, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of um, poppy seeds. I have definitely made it without poppy seeds. It will work without poppy seeds. And a quarter cup of mustard. I prefer spicy brown or stone ground, but you could use regular mustard for sure. And then we're just gonna let this all melt, get warm, and start layering. Okay, so I cut my rolls open. I put them on a big sheet of tin foil so I can put it back together and then wrap it up in this to put in the oven. And then we're just gonna layer. Um, I'm using a big spoon, hold on. Hello, amazing video work here. I'm gonna put the mustard uh, butter concoction on both sides of the bread, like so. And I gotta save half of it because I gotta do this twice, but it's gonna work. That smells good. I mean, unless you don't like mustard, you might not like this. <laughs> if you don't like mustard, this is, might not be your thing. Or bread, or ham, or cheese. And if that's you, I'm sorry, I can't relate. But anywho, okay. Then we're just gonna take our ham and we're gonna layer it like so. And then you're gonna have to come back when these are done and um, cut them. You're gonna have to cut them. Let's see, I don't know. There's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just throwing it on there. However, let's see, I think I used six pieces. Okay, and we're gonna put some cheese. I'm telling y'all, this is super easy. It's super yummy. And you're gonna be super loved when you bring this or serve this 
to people you love. Okay, and now the fun part for me that I tend to mess up, but I just flip that bad boy like a pro. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap it up. And it's ready to go. You could make these ahead, pop them in the fridge, which is what I'm gonna do, and then put them in the oven about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so before we eat, 350. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, I've also decided to do a hot refried bean dip. Um, looks like dog food, doesn't it? it? Smells like it too. Luckily, it doesn't taste that way. Bonnie said, I'll eat it though, Ma. Uh, so, I'm going to mix eight ounces of sour cream, a package of cream cheese. After this gets soft, then I'm going to mix in the refried beans, a couple cups of two different kinds of shredded cheese, and then put some more of that on top, pop it in the oven, and serve it with Tostitos. Yeah. Oops, easy, Murdy. All right, so I'm gonna mix up the cream cheese and the sour cream. I forgot to say earlier, I'm gonna use a package of taco seasoning. Put that in. Add the refried beans. I added about a half a package each. These are three cup packages, 12 ounces. So I added about six of each, six ounces of each, whatever. This is gonna be very forgiving. I hope, I've never made it before. <laughs> we'll see. And I put it in this three quart casserole dish. You could definitely put this in a nine by 12. An eight by eight would be a little too thick, I think, because it's pretty thick in this one. Um, and then I'm just gonna take more cheese cheese makes everything better like butter and bacon <laughs> and I'm just gonna top it off and then this will go in the oven with the rolls at 350 for I don't know 20 30 minutes until it's heated through and there we go I'll let you know and we have a winner winner refried bean dip appetizer <laughs> it's good y'all mm-hmm it's very good. It's hot, but it's very good. And here's the sandwiches, y'all. So good, really. They're so good. Yep.